I'm not getting no more. What? That happened in the C-O-G-I-C? Yes. What's, <laughs> going, what's, yeah. going, what's going on with that situation? Um, yeah, well, give, me a, give me a... I want to hear your take. Well, I see what it is. Mm-hmm. At this moment, he is a delivery. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, and, and he looking like... The key word... Because I know that I no, know. So that I know. At, at this, this moment, moment, he is. Okay. All right. But the battle is staying delivered. Because of what he's come out of, and when you walk out of those doors, yes, you have to deal with yourself. That's right. See the little, the little stain that was on me mm. had to go to the cleaners. Mm. You okay. See what I'm saying? Okay. And only I could get it, get that stain and take it to the cleaners to be mm-hmm. removed. Mm-hmm. See, he's delivered now, mm-hmm. but how long will you be delivered? And it's, well, it's easy to dance in the church and oh, get the yeah. courage of the saints, but when you get behind closed doors and you used to a man holding a man or a man holding you, whatever yeah, y'all yeah. do, yeah. you know what I'm saying, and then the men lusting after women, whatever that that craving is, you're going to have to confront that issue and deal with it, or you're going to be back to where you began. Right. So when I saw it, I, I said, hmm, he's delivered now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now part two of that it, okay. is the preacher that was ministering that night he, I mean, he went hard on homosexuality that night. I mean, he was calling it out. He said, it's in here, it's up in the pulpit, it's everywhere around here, and you preachers, you allow it. Mm-hmm. And you, he basically called out. All, only thing was left to do was just start calling names. Because oh, okay. he said, preachers up here, you, uh-huh. you know, you're allowing it, allowing it. Now, he said that, which, okay, then afterwards, Bishop Blake came and issued an apology on his behalf because he said it wasn't done in love. Yeah. But my thing was sometimes you have to call this stuff out. Now, that situation. Wow. Why do y'all put me in the hot seat? <laughs> <laughs> well, you comment on it. Okay. Well, I mean, because I, I, the young know, man, that's okay, okay because I, I, we didn't plan this. Mm-hmm. So, and I believe, I'm a, can I be honest with Go you ahead. about that's, what's that's really what, going on with, why, with this issue is that that's what I'm asking, right? this whole homosexual issue in the Church of God Christ really started with me. When I reposted <coughs> a video of evangelist Francis Kelly, who is Sister Patterson's sister, probably has like 70,000 views. I posted 10 months ago, 10 months ago. Oh, really? I know what's going on in the spirit. Mm-hmm. She preached a convocation about 26 years ago or something like that, and she tapped on homosexuality. And I reposted the video and worded it, uh, Musical Homosexuals and Sissies, Church God and Christ Convention. And it just went kind of all out whack. Mm. Okay. And Bishop Blake attempted to get up some months later in the Women's Convention and teach on fornication and adultery. Mm. Wasn't the same effect. Because homosexuality and fornication and adultery is really same. They're sin, but they're not the same sins. It's something about that homosexuality thing that intrigues our fancy. <laughs> it gives it to everybody's right. attention. Mm-hmm. So after he did that, I think this other minister came up and preached it in the convocation. To I'm not saying he did it for attention, mm-hmm. but he did it because maybe it needed to have been said. Because mm-hmm. it should have been said a long time right. ago. But God told me to put Francis Kelly saying because she, she she taught the word of God. Mm-hmm. And you go on YouTube, you'll see it's called Evangelist Francis Kelly. Uh, church, uh, musical homosexuals and sissy. So now, what's going on with Bishop Blake is that I, to be honest with you, I knew this was going to come up. Mm-hmm. I have a word for him. God wants him to deal with this. Mm-hmm. He's going to have to deal. He's going to have to get up and don't put those homosexuals out the church, but he's going to have to sit them down mm-hmm. because what God is trying to say. He's try, his anointing is trying to come through. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? I hear you. And that's what sh- that demon has completely took over the whole black gospel industry. You know that it oh, is. Mm. Although they're, they're homosexual. So, and it's very evident. So let me finish. Go ahead, ahead. He has, and God told me to mention my former pastor, G.E. Patterson. And hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And as I sit here, I guess God let me go through all they had a way of turning around to let these saints know. You're going to have to sit them down like G.E. Patterson did. Mm-hmm. If he would have let him stay in that position, mm-hmm. he could have prayed on others. You see what I'm saying? You're going to have to sit them down. 
Don't put them out because they need to be delivered. They need to be delivered. But you're going to have to sit them down. That's right. Because if you don't sit them down, God, you don't yeah, want God to sit them down. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's he's cold the whole, out of here. The whole so, ministry will be shut. When you say down. sit them down, and I'm just, I'm just starting, you know, that praise leader that can usher in the praise. You have to sit yeah, them down. Yeah, that sit single, down. You you sit whatever down. he sings, you know, everybody is at, if out. You, is he, when I say sit them down, you got to call them and I'll say, look, okay, you know, you can't worry about what they do when they leave the church. Right. But if you know they are praying mm -hmm. on these young boys in the church, and it's going on. Mm -hmm. They see these little young boys coming in the church, you mm -hmm. can sing, or, or you see that this mess is going on, you go out and say, look, okay, I can't watch what you do when you leave it, but you are missing in this church. Mm -hmm. Okay? People are watching your life. Mm -hmm. Okay? But if, I, but if I get word, or God show me that you're doing this, I'm about to sit you down. Okay. I, I, now, if they, now, if they leave the church, they don't want to be delivered. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Right. But you need, you got to, you going to have to sit up. See, G. E. Pastor knew I was innocent. He had to know I was innocent. Mm -hmm. Because I, I didn't know, and I was. And I was hurting. Mm -hmm. I was hurting. And to see this boy continually function, I can't stand this because he done took my virginity from me like this, that would have been hard for me to do. I'm quite sure my adorned pastor saw that. Mm -hmm. So he sat him down. Mm -hmm. And I think the boy left the church on his own. He, right. he told me he had to leave. Feeling guilty he about what he down. had done. Okay. Yeah. yeah. As I had a preacher years ago to say, and, and it applies to this so, so well. Lives are at stake. Yes. Right. Souls. You know, souls. Wings. These people that walk through those doors, those mm -hmm. lives yes. are at stake. Mm -hmm. Yes. When you get up in front of all these people to minister, sometimes you're the only Jesus they see. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. What representation? Yeah. See, I've been in, see, let me tell you yeah. something. When I started minister, I, I have been in this thing 33 years next month. Last month, November was 33 years. I've been preaching. There's nothing saying that bullet on me. He can't, it ain't in this, uh, it, your family and your church, and church is the worst thing. <laughs> and you know what the world yeah. gonna do. Yeah. Cause your church is just like, well, you know right. what I'm saying? Yes. You, you spend, yes. you spend more time, time with your yes. family, yes. not more time. time. My family yeah, didn't mess with my aunt's iconic copyrights. Mm -hmm. My daddy tried to sexually assault me. This boy that took my virginity in the church. <laughs> mm -hmm. What can you say to me? <laughs> Devil, what, what can you pull next but put a knife to my throat? Uh -uh. God saying? can say you're doing all of that. Yeah. So what I'm saying, now, all that right. I'm saying is that God is trying to do something. We right. got to let him do it. Right. You see what I'm saying? And even as I sit here, once again, I, I'm, I'm going to, Bishop Blake, you're going to have to sit him down. And, and, and I don't think it has nothing, I don't think you mind hurting nobody's feelings. Because, right. see, we was taught as a long time ago, you got to say, put your feelings in the back pocket. You got right. to put, you got mm -hmm. to put your feelings, when you come over here, you got to let it go. And that, got to now. And glory to me, that's, that's one of my <laughs> biggest things is, sometimes we let the feelings get in the way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, you got somebody that you need to rebuke or tell, tell, just tell them. Mm -hmm. Because you're hurting them. When you don't say mm -hmm. anything. You don't say and they continue in their mess. And you let this monster mm -hmm. grow. Right. Mm -hmm. You let this monster grow. I mean, of course, you, you all have experienced where you've had these cancers in the church. Mm -hmm. Where well, you don't deal with them and it, and it gets bigger. Well, and the people are beginning to see it all. It's just come, all coming to the light. And now people don't even want to go to church. They, they don't respect they want, the church. They'd rather, they rather right. stay right. home. Exactly. They, they don't, don't respect the church. The church. I remember, see, the church of God Christ started. Where was that at? Where was that? Missouri? Where did this happen at? With the, the, yeah, St. Louis. Yeah. Okay. What people don't realize, I was raised in Memphis, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Where the Kojic was, mm -hmm. right. Bishop Mason, the Pattersons. Mm -hmm. I went to the convocation. Mm -hmm. Don't you know... Months before, excuse me, months before they came to town in Memphis, people respected the saints. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you hear yeah, me? Right. People gave the whole side of the street to them. They said, the saints are coming. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They were in white. They respected the Kojic name. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Because they were, they were saved people. Mm -hmm. Just when I was a little boy and then my teens, the saints are coming. People don't respect the church anymore. Mm -hmm. Because all these things, and because we're letting contamination come into the house mm -hmm. of God. You see what I'm saying? And we're known and as to get your respect back, mm -hmm. you got to renounce and cast the devil out. Mm -hmm. Say, look, Satan, you have no place in here. This is God's dominion. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to do it. And we're known as a bunch of people who know how to shout, dance, or sing, and take your money. 
Exactly. <laughs> that's what that's what that's what people exactly. look at. And I, and I haven't said all that. I mean, I, the di issues need to be dealt with, but you know, this is not, you know, shooting down Bishop Blake or shooting down no, anybody. Well, see, mm -hmm. it's very difficult for him because mm -hmm. he's in that position, right? Right. And and, and it's easier said than done mm -hmm. because when you're in that position, I was in this, I'm in the spirit world. I've never met the man. Mm -hmm. I sat on G Pass many years ago, but. Bishop Blake is in, you know, they really can't just expect him to just wham, bam, do it. Right. That is a very difficult, awkward situation to be in because he has a great responsibility on oh, his yeah. show. A so he really needs the prayers of the saints to yeah. back him. Mm -hmm. That is, because it ha he probably he probably know it needs to be, it's going to have to be oh, done. Right. But Lord, how do I do this? Because yeah. yeah. it's going to probably be a lot of people may leave and maybe it's going to be Well, gonna he's be probably already asked that question. Yeah. Maybe, maybe yeah. it hasn't happened yet, but yeah. he's probably already, I'm yeah. quite sure he has. Yeah. So, so for Lerone Baker. Yes. In your book, to in you know to to uh, bring this to a close, you just say you're tired, and you want to you know let reveal what has been going on in your life, which you have, yeah. through your book reflections, yeah. and you want the people to know yes. that it's like you said, you don't want to go into your fifties with all, any of this. You want to release it all. Yeah, I made up my mind that I wasn't going. I was. This is a. I feel like this is a new beginning for me. Mm -hmm. Either I can go higher or go down. That's right. And um, this is it. I'm mm -hmm. I'm letting go a lot. Mm -hmm. I've said, I've told the copyrights. I this is who I am. Mm -hmm. And God let me know if they're gonna love me, they're gonna have to love me for me, mm -hmm. for me right. being who I am. I'm I'm no longer a choir member in Jesus Palace's church. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. I'm no longer considered George's little nephew. Mm -hmm. I'm right. Evangelist Lerone Baker now. And this is who I am. This is what I've been through. And I hope that I, this book has been selling like I don't know what. I, I don't know if they've been banned because they heard about the homosexual. I don't know what it is about the book. But I believe that God is allowing me to minister to these people because people are hurting. And like you said, people are ashamed mm -hmm. of this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. This isn't easy. I could never, I, I'm telling you, even five years ago, I, I couldn't even wrote this book. I couldn't have put all this in here okay. because I was ashamed of my family. They what they did on my. I could I couldn't believe. I was ashamed to let people know I had this kind of family. Wow. How you say that your family took your aunt's legacy and just threw it to the book? How how do you say your father tried to molest you? How do you you don't? Mm -hmm. And there are people that are trapped in what people are going to think about them or people are going to feel that they're guilty. So, yeah, this is a new beginning for me. Well, it's totally new beginning. I've learned, I've learned uh, around that even in my own life. Mm -hmm. not, not, I don't even know if you know that I'm a baker also. My, my maiden name is Gloria Jean No, baker. I didn't know that. Okay. And my father was, you know, wasn't, is, is, massively abusive as yours and I never see him so I don't even know but okay. I found out that I was a what you call religious okay. and that my father but was, I'm not not was married but listen I'm, I'm, not just telling, I'm, just, I'm just telling you what, how I let it go no love child you know what I'm saying I'm just saying how I let it go uh -huh, yeah. you see what I'm saying because I didn't even find out none of that because mm -hmm. I always thought my mom and my dad was married and I thought my mom and my dad, See, close was but I'm, let me, let me, hold okay. but what I'm saying is that I was 29 years old when I found out that none of that was true. Yeah, that well, I was 29. 29. Mm -hmm. I was 29 yeah. when I found out. When it true so, out. Yeah. When, I, when, when it came out. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, you know, either I could let that take me down. Yes. Yeah. And, and rule my life, mm -hmm. or I can say, okay, I gotta let this go. Yeah. And I and it took me a minute. But when I let it go, I know that God had taken it from me because I couldn't even move, and it just it, for about two hours. Yeah, like a weight off. You were uh -huh. blowing away. And it was just it was T.D. Jakes that had came to our church that bought this out of me, and God showed me it all. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying, you have to you let it go, and you move on because you are someone else now. You yes. that's your old life. Yes. You know yes. what I'm saying? Yes. And you go forward. You see, that's that's the part I want to share with you. Right. See, I'm not a I'm not a Bachelor's isn't a bad word, Jim. I'm not. My mother fought Marion had us. All okay, us, right. Okay, but what I am saying is that um, I, I, 
they they watch my every move. They need to move on with their lives because I'm through. And Aunt Cassetta was really the only link. She they claimed that she left them everything. Guess what? Y'all can have it, but you got to go with her. I'm through. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm take it and go away from around me because it's hindering the move of God. Mm -hmm. God ain't got us up on the other slandering each other for no copyrights. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's right. He it's does not. not. It's not him. And God is. Uh, and you know, I guess what? Glory. I shop Black Friday. I shot. I bought six <laughs> pairs of shoes yesterday. Yeah, you know, that's me. Uh -huh. Did you Go shop ahead. Black Friday? I said, did you bring me some money? I just I bought me a, 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 a $1,700 mink jacket for yeah, a man. Uh -huh. get, get a shot of the shoes. You remember? Get a shot of the shoes. I just, just look. Just and guess what, y'all? I'm Check going, it. guess what? There is I'm going shopping tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, make sure you shoes. No, you cannot. Go. <laughs> so, so I'll, I'll, y'all that, but I, I am, this is new for me. These on twenties, I will be fifty years the Lord. No, you but don't. I am, I am moving on. Okay, okay but wonderful. guess what? You got to get on with around me. <laughs> you take that mess and go with it, because it's not a God, right? Okay. Well, we know we're glad that you realize that's that. That's what I'm saying. I pray God's Lord, let me pick it up no more. No matter if it, that's right. if it be a base or exotic, don't let me touch it. Because guess what? It ain't, it's, if it mess with peace, it's not of God. It's not of God. And I don't want it. Well, I'll say, first of all, you look good for 50. Thank you. You look Thank good you. for 50. Thank you. Next, I want to know, so when is the movie coming out? <laughs> um, wow. <laughs> you know what? My One of my books, they wanted me to do a play on. They really did. And uh, I, I thought about turning Reflections into um, a play. And it'll be, it'll be yeah. a play. I'd rather have a movie. Well, well you know, we'll come yeah. to a play. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm talking to <laughs> I'm some literary to agents. To that movie too. I'm talking to some literary agents about the book going worldwide because I've had, I had a guy come in town from London, England, who heard of me and wanted a book. So it's selling all overseas. So you turn yeah. this to a play. I want to play G. Pass. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you wow, have to, you have to get the, that. He has to get the rights of sister. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she's gonna let you do that. Or uh, his nephew Milton Hawkins. Anyway, um, I like to thank all. Thank you guys uh, for doing this. Um, and I love you. Well, we love you too, and we are glad that you have went full circle and come out of what the enemy thought and he had brought down. Uh, if y'all don't get this okay. book for anything else, get it so you can see this first. Mahogany reflection behind the purple robe. No, that, that fur though. That's a that's 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 a fox. That's a two thousand <laughs> <The> fox. fox. <laughs> Correction. The fox. Yes. Yes. Okay. Love you. That's God us. God bless you. God bless you.